Mechanised farming works best in the flat bottom valleys of the lowlands. To the south, in the terraced hills of Zhejiang province, an older and simpler lifestyle persists. It's seven in the morning, and Long Shen's most successful businessman is off to work. In the golden terraces surrounding the village, the ears of rice are plump and ripe for harvesting. But today, rice isn't uppermost in Mr. Yang's mind. He has bigger fish to fry. Further up the valley, the harvest has already begun. Yang's fields are ripe too, but they haven't been drained yet. That's because for him, rice is not the main crop. The baskets he's carried up the hillside give a clue to Yang's business. But before he starts work, he needs to let some water out of the system. As the water level drops, the mystery is revealed. Golden carp. Longshen villagers discovered the benefits of transferring wild-caught carp into their paddy fields long ago. The tradition has been going on here for at least 700 years. As the water level in the paddy drops, bamboo gates stop the fish escaping. The beauty of this farming method is that it delivers two crops from the same field at the same time, fish and rice. <laughs> 